Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. First, I need to apologize. It is like 93 degrees in here at 5 a.m. and there's some construction uh, at the neighbor's house across the street. Now, today we're gonna continue our series on the VX6R and we're also gonna talk about how to take this uh, analog only radio and apply or make it so that we can run some digital data modes. And to do that, we're gonna be pairing it with the DigiRig Mobile. I have done a, a small mini series on digital communications. I'll put that somewhere on the screen. And I already showed you what this old device is and how to pair it with other radios like the Baofeng UV5R, the Yaesu FT60, which was my previous EDC radio, and also a number of my Yaesu man packs. For those of you who are not familiar with that and don't have an attention span, Really all this is, is a little device that will give us the ability to interface this with our computer and to some extent an Android phone uh, with limited use and be able to send emails to anybody in the world, keyboard to keyboard text messages with anybody with a compatible station, uh, the ability to beacon your location, and uh, my favorite, sending SMS text messages to my wife. All of these capabilities are done without any internet access on your end so long as you uh, are able to get an RF signal out uh, to a compatible station. So uh, I find this as a great poor man's uh, internet. So why are we talking about the VX6R and the DigiRig again? Well, the reason for it is uh, this little guy here. This is a new or soon to be new offering from DigiRig Mobile, and it is the interface cable for the VX6R. Uh, when I transitioned away from my FT60 to this radio, one of the things that was on my must-have list to make the transition was the ability to interface it with uh, a computer or my Android phone. And there wasn't that capability because there wasn't an interface cable. So I contacted uh, Dennis over at DigiRig and said, hey Dennis, would you mind building me a prototype cable for this line of radios? And he said, sure. So I found uh, bare cables of the tip ring ring sleeve connector uh, with the 3.5 millimeter threaded connector. That's the important piece for this radio. It has a threaded uh, TRS connector. And then uh, he went, went ahead and built me uh, about four prototypes. Uh, I believe the production run is gonna be coming up here in the next week or two weeks. Don't quote me on that, uh, but I'll put some information on when you can be notified of this cable coming out on the market. Uh, the cool thing about the threaded connector, unlike what I was running on the FT60 with its 3.5 millimeter jack, is that this will not back out. This is actually designed to have, uh, maintain its IP rating. So we can quite literally drop this guy in here, th thread it down, and now at least at this point here, we still have ingress protection. And then this end goes into the uh, DigiRig into the audio port. And now we can interface this either with my Android phone. Uh, I've only tested the and FL message app, but primarily we can also interface it with the laptop. So if you guys are interested in having some digital capabilities on your VX6, I believe also the VX7, check the pinout to make sure they're compatible uh, and you should be fine. Uh, I think this is a great solution to kind of round out your communications abilities on this radio. So really just wanted to plant the seed to let you know that this product is available. And then today also happens to be WinLink Wednesday. So we're gonna try to use this setup and I'm gonna try to send an email over radio to check into WinLink Wednesday and send a couple of email messages out to a couple of buddies. Stick around. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the demo station. I have the Yaesu uh, VX6R that's connected to a Yegi antenna that's pointed due west. Uh, we also have the new uh, DigiRig Mobile threaded tip ring ring sleeve connector going into the DigiRig Mobile and then a USB-C to USB-A cable. That's connected into the CF20 Panasonic Toughbook running Ubuntu Linux and then for the software, we're running Pat Winlink. And over here, I just have a secondary radio uh, to monitor the frequency I will be receiving and transmitting on, and that's 145.710. So on my screen, this is Pat Winlink. It's an email client for amateur radio. You can see I have a bunch of messages. In my outbox, I wanna send two email messages. The first is to my buddy, Eric, Backcountry Amateur Radio. And you can see that they're fairly small. I'll explain why in a second. And the other one is the check-in uh, email for WinLink Wednesday. So if everything goes correctly, we should be able to go to action, 
connect, I have selected a, a station that's on the same dial frequency, 145.710, and we're gonna go ahead and click connect. And we should hear some chirping over here. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to connect on five, oh, look at that, we're connected. So um, pretty cool that we're connected on five watts. And you can actually see there at the bottom of the screen, let's turn this off. Um, we're basically going through the process now of uh, establishing that connection. So just to be clear, I am connected to a station that's about 35, 40 miles due west of me. And then that signal is being repeated back to a station south of me. So if all of this works correctly, we should see um, a, a progress bar for transmitting the email messages. Now, what you have to keep in mind is that we're sending all of this over radio and the uh, bandwidth is very limited. So for you guys that were early adopters of the internet uh, from like the 300 baud modems, uh, you may appreciate this. We're basically going, oh, we just sent one email. I know you guys didn't see that, but uh, one has been sent out and the other one is going out. Uh, so what you want to keep in mind is that the bandwidth is limited. This is uh, 1200 bits per second. So roughly place yourself in your time machine and go back to about, I don't know, 1995 maybe. And those are the speeds we're dealing with. But as you can see here, uh, we sent off those two messages. So I have officially checked into WinLink Wednesday using the VX6R and the new prototype cable from uh, DigiRig Mobile. So guys, I don't wanna make this too technical. I hate this technical crap, uh, but I guess I am the tech prepper, so there'll be a video or two on this topic. So check out Dennis. Uh, these cables are not quite on the market. They should be available around the time I drop this video. If not, stand by, they'll be ready shortly. Um, our next video is gonna be a continuation on the VX6R. I've got an Aubrey antenna, which I believe is completely ridiculous. And, uh, but we're gonna try it out on my plate carrier with a relocation cable from Cattail Antennas. All right, guys, we're almost at 10,000 subs, so if you like the content, smash that thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm gonna do some giveaways and a really special um, gift to, to somebody out there. So um, I'm the Tech Prepper, be strong, be safe, and be prepared.